of the, the, the most bizarre and brutal series of crimes in America. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. This is day 31 of my 31 days of Halloween. It is the very last day of this challenge. Now that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop doing makeup looks forever or creative looks such as this. Uh, I actually got a lot of suggestions to do a couple different looks so I may um, do those here and there but it may not be until school starts to wind down a little bit more. Not quite sure. Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely very different for me. I don't think I did it perfectly but... You know, I tried and that's the whole point of the challenge, right? So it's just a side note for this Halloween since I'm posting this hopefully before anyone is going out trick-or-treating. Um, if you guys are going out trick-or-treating or if you know people who are, just be safe. Um, try, like follow the guidelines. I know um, a lot of different states and a lot of different cities are, host are having very different um, types of trick-or-treating this year. Just make sure you're adhering to that but also having fun and just staying safe at the same time. But yeah, so if you wanna see how I got this look, then keep on watching. So I already have my brows on. I darkened them a little bit with like some gray eyeshadow instead of some black to kind of give it a like stone bluish gray kind of feel. Um, and I'm gonna go in first and do my black red smoky eye so i'm gonna focus it's really just gonna be a like bright red right here in the inner corner and then the rest of it's black so i'm gonna go in first so we can get a good base down in the james x morphe palette and i'm going to take just this like light taupe color now i'm gonna go in with a really dark brown. I'm gonna go into the dark brown, dark brown just above the black here, and I'm just gonna push that into my outer half and into my crease and blend upwards. Before it gets any darker, I'm gonna go in with a flat brush here and I'm going to take the bright red um, in this palette and pack that in my inner corner. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in and deepen everything up with black. Now I'm basically going to carry all of that smokiness down to my lower lash line and I'm also going to add a little bit of purple in throughout the crease just to kind of give it that extra little pop. I go in with just a little fluffy brush here and I'm going to take this big pan of like brown here and mix with a little bit of like this warmer brownish orange. I'm really just going to go through and create some shadows using these warm brown shades. And then on a bigger brush, I'm going to hollow out the sides of my neck and in between my collarbones with that same color. Okay, and now it is time to do all of the black lines. So I'm just gonna take my black body paint here and I'm gonna start up here. So 
So I'm just going to take a really saturated black brush now and get a nice like black jagged line going here. And then there's a couple little like squigglies underneath the eyes. And then I'm going to go ahead and create the little staple marks. And we will dilute it a little bit, don't worry, but I'm just going to start creating those little like jagged pieces coming down from my eye. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing over here that I, and do it on this eye. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with that fluffy brush that I applied all that brown with and I'm going to go back into it and I'm going to just kind of push some of that on top of this black. And I'm going to do my nose. I'm just going to take some white paint and make the little button that's going to go in the center of this. And then I'm going to take some black and go around that with like a really jagged squiggle again. And then kind of cross the two over each other to line my lips with some black eyeliner first. to my Naked Smoky palette and I'm going to take some of Slighted in Danger which are just like some bluish gray shades and I'm going to put that all over my lips. I'm going to go back in to black here and we're going to start doing the lips. So I'm going to take this line and I'm going to extend it pretty far outwards. Some black eyeshadow lightly smoke over this line, blend it a little bit, and to like make it look really cool. Now I'm going to go through and do the X's, just some really jagged X's, with some lines in between. And do one big X across my lips. go back in with my smudger brush here and in the center of these X's blend our shadow upwards and then I'm going to take black paint and I'm going to create a ton of drips going down my neck But I'm just going to take black paint and really water it down here. But then I'm going to speckle that. And then I'm going to take some of my black eyeliner, push that into my tight line and water line. And then in terms of mascara here, I'm not going to apply any lashes just because I don't want to take away from the look here. So I'm just going to apply a really black mascara to my upper and lower lashes. A 
Okay, so this is the completed look. My wig is a little dirty from a previous look, so it's got some red in it, but oh well. Um, I might do some shots without the wig on. I haven't quite decided yet because I do think it would look really cool without a wig too. I don't know. I really like how it turns out. It's definitely something very different than I think some of the looks that are on this channel. Um, I feel like a lot of them kind of take things in like a really glam way and this one kind of plays on a more spooky factor so anyways if you guys enjoyed watching this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me make sure you hit that subscribe button down below since 31 days of Halloween is technically over I may still do a couple creative looks here and there sporadically um you can hit that notification bell if you want you'll get notified for future videos that I post um, after this, like I said, I might be taking a break after October, especially with classes winding down, trying to get my life back in order. But if you want to hit that notification bell to get a notification um, when I post, go ahead. You don't have to. Um, but yeah, so for today's question, what's been your favorite look out of all the ones that I've done? For Halloween you can just write down a day you can write down a title you can write down honestly whatever you want you can write down something that you just liked about this series in general if you hated it you know what leave that down there too you know I, I, I don't care <laughs> um, but yeah so go ahead and leave those comments down below and I will see you guys next time I can't really say tomorrow because I'm not sure when the next video will go up but I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs>